Get learning with Santino. Hi everyone, I'm Santino, and today we are learning to estimate and count small collections up to 20. We'll be having a look at a collection of objects, then we'll estimate how many we think there are, and then we'll find different ways to count them. So, let's get learning! I have three boxes here. One, two, three. And inside are different collections. I wonder what there might be. Well, as I tip out the first collection, don't count what you see, because we are going to estimate first. Do you remember what it means to estimate? An estimate is a clever guess. By thinking about what we can see and then having a guess as to how many there might be. So, after we estimate, then we'll count. Ready for the first collection? Okay! Look at these shells! Remember, don't count, let's estimate. How many shells do you estimate there are? I've been looking and I think there are definitely more than three shells there. But I think the 15 will be too high. So I'm going to estimate a number between 3 and 15. I wonder what your estimate is. On the count of 3, say your estimate. Ready? 1, 2, 3. All right, well now we've estimated, it's time to count. And there are lots of ways we could count. Let's see. First of all, I can see a collection of three in line. One, two, three. Did you supertize and see that too? And then we have one, two, three, four, five here. Well, we know this is five, so let's count in a faster way, starting from five. So we have five, six, seven, eight. There are eight shells. Was your estimate close? Well, how else could we count our collection? Instead of counting by ones, we could count in a faster way by counting by twos. Let's try. Count with me, ready? Two, four, six, eight. Let's count them again. Two, four, six, eight. I can also see we have two rows here. And in each row we have one, two, three, four. And this row, one, two, three, four. So we can see two rows of four makes eight. All right, let's find another way to count the shells. We could count them on these handout lines by placing one shell on each finger. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight fingers have a shell and two are empty. And hey, we know that if all the fingers were covered, we would have 10. But there are two less here, right? So this also shows that eight is two less than 10. Okay, time for another collection. What will be in this box? Colourful cotton balls. Remember, don't count them. Let's estimate first. How many cotton balls do you estimate there are? To make a good estimate, I'm going to think about what I already know. And I know what eight looks like from the shells that we counted. Does this look like more than eight or less than eight? What estimate would be too high? Pause it here and tell a friend what you estimate. Have you been thinking? Well, I have two and I estimate that this collection is more than eight, but less than 20. I think 20 is too high. I wonder what your estimate is. On the count of three, say your estimate. One, two, three. 
All right. Well, now it's time to see how close you are. Let's count our collection. The first thing I've noticed is the bright colors. So let's sort them into colors. Can you use your subitizing eyes to see how many yellow balls? I saw two straight away without counting. How many green balls? I'll place them like this so it's clear to see there are five, like dice. And then, how many pink balls? Did you see six straight away? Two, four, six, like on dice. So we have six pink, five green, and two yellow. Let's combine those numbers to find out how many all together. Let's start with the six pink balls. We know there are six. So instead of starting from one, let's start from six. What comes after six? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So six and five and two make 13. So there are 13 cotton balls in this collection. Was your estimate close? Okay, how else could we count this collection? We could show 13 on 10 frames. Here's my 10 frame. I'll carefully place one ball in each space. Oh look, the 10 frame is full. So this must be 10. But I still have more cotton balls. 13 is bigger than 10. What could I do? Luckily, I have another 10 frame. I can place the rest on here. So we have a full 10 frame that shows 10. And then how many more? Three more. One, two, three. So we can see that 13 is 10 and three. All right, let's find another way to count our collection. I have a number chart here. Let's use this. Can you see that this top row has all the numbers from one to 10? And then we can continue on this second row. 11, 12, and then all the way up to 20. I'm going to place each ball on a number starting from one. What number did I get up to? Yes, the last ball is on the number 13. So this is another way to count our collection. Okay, ready for our next collection? What will it be? Blue and yellow blocks. Remember, don't count. Let's estimate first. How many blocks do you estimate there are? Let's think about what we can see and what we already know. Well, we just saw what 13 looks like. Does this collection look more or less than 13? What would be an estimate that's too low? What estimate would be too high? Pause it here and tell a friend your estimate. Have you been thinking? Well, I have too. And I've been thinking that uh, there might be the same number of yellow blocks and blue blocks. Looks like there are about 10 each. What do you think? On the count of three, say your estimate. One, two, three. All right, well, let's see how close your estimate is. Let's find different ways to count. First of all, I'm wondering if there is the same amount of blue and yellow blocks. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine. There are nine blue blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine blue blocks and nine yellow blocks. Nine and nine. They're the same. They're equal. Look how nine can make a square. We have two groups of nine here. Now let's count them. Should we start from one? What's a quicker way to count? 
Well, we know this square is nine, so let's count on. Ready? What comes after nine? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There are 18 blocks in this collection. Was your estimate close? Well, how else could we count this collection? I have an idea. Let's make some block towers. I'll start with the blue blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now, the yellow blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. We have two block towers. And what do you notice about the lengths of our towers? They're the same. They're equal length, aren't they? And if I lie them down like this, they make two rows. Seeing as we have two rows, let's skip count. Counting by twos. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. 18 can be two rows of nine. Okay, now let's use a 10 frame to count our blocks. Do you think one 10 frame will be enough? You don't, why not? Oh, of course, because 18 is bigger than 10. We are definitely going to need two 10 frames for this number. Here are my 10 frames. I'll carefully place one block in each space. One 10 frame is full. Let's keep going. Have a look at this 10 frame. Is it full? No. How many spaces are empty? Just two. How many are covered then? Two less than 10 is eight. You might also see that five and three make eight. So we have 10 on this 10 frame and eight on this 10 frame. So 18 can be 10 and eight. Can you think of other ways to count our collection? I'm sure you've got some great ideas. Well, great estimating today, everyone. The more we practice estimating, the better we'll become. So now it's your turn to find a collection, share your estimates with a friend, and then count and record in different ways. You could count using hand outlines, 10 frames, number charts, or any other way that you can think of. Enjoy estimating and counting everyone. Happy learning and see you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe. There's lots more to see. Come back again soon for more learning with me.